Hello there, it's me. Now, this series is a little bit more infrequent than other series. Don't panic, there'll, there'll still be videos until FM17. Just a little bit more, as I say, infrequently. But it's fine. If you are enjoying the series, though, drop a like. Thank you for the support so far. And let's crack on! Run that fancy intro I made from hand. It was handmade, that intro. By which I mean a mouse. Mm. And a keyboard, but that's less important. <laughs> Then, folks, hello. Welcome back to another episode of the Paris Saint Germain Homegrown Challenge. And since we last met, which was the 2 1 victory over uh, Marseille, you might remember it. Niang scored late doors. I threw some cards in the air. What happened to those cards? We'll never know. They're here. So I do, I do know, it turns out. Uh, coming up later, we will find out a new word. And uh, yeah, form since this match, as you sort of may have seen right at the very start, has gone okay. The Champions League, though, is a question mark. And we'll be bringing you a game against Porto later on, the final group game. Uh, yeah, our league form's gone very well. As I say, since that 2-1 victory over Marseille, a draw against Montpellier, bats about wins over uh, AS Nancy. And is it Nancy? Is Nancy? Na I think it's Nancy. I think it, why not? Anti Nancy, Anti Nancy. I haven't got an Anti Nancy, but I'm sure someone has. Uh, AS Monaco. Nice and Bastille also got beaten. Then we played N Aviant de Guahamp, probably. Uh, then FC Nance, we, we got a draw against, and we now leave ourselves against Bordeaux. Uh, top of the table, League 1 is actually slightly easier than I ever realised. We only lost one game in the league so far. That was, uh, I think that might be one of the opening games. Uh, Anthony Martial, 10 goals this season, and you can see there, I would usually play against uh, Olympic Lyon, but they're not having the greatest of years, and Bordeaux, as of, as of right now, are, are ahead of them, so we're playing them. Uh, as I say, Champions League to come, but we'll focus on this league game. Let's run you through the uh, today's team, and let's look at some of the top performers so far in this save. So, as mentioned, Anthony Martial, top of the goal-scoring charts, and just behind him, Havan on gender with seven goals in only five starts. Uh, Niang, also not too far behind and on the assist marks uh, Matuidi's stepped up with six for it of, of his own Five assists for Anthony Martial, who plays on the left and up front. I think he might play on the left today, actually. Uh, Dimitri Payet, who currently is out injured. Uh, won't be too long, though. Hopefully, six to three days with the damaged foot. May even feature in the Champions League game midweek. Who knows? We I, do, I don't yet, essentially. And uh, in terms of average ratings, a big shout-out to the man, Kozawa, on that left-hand side at the left-back, uh, who's been playing supremely well, and I've been enjoying his form immensely. Uh, so let's look at today's team. Just realised that I have to go forward three days because everyone's unfit, so... Hold on. Just played nonce, you see. And I was ready to record and I didn't fast forward it. Ah, that's that's good news. That in that short period, the five... I mean, we've had that many injuries. This, I mean, if you look at the squad, take a look at it. Not You might think, oh, that's not a great deal of injuries. You'd be absolutely right. It's not a great deal of injuries. But, um, you know, game coming up and I've turned that on. So, of course, he's out for three months with a hip injury. Which means we've got to have to bring someone else in. Uh, is Matt Merrin comes in. And my three, our best defender, out. That puts uh, Obertan on the bench. That's just unbelievable. I mean, he's our best defender. I mean, I, I will say, though, January, not too far away. Might have to bring in a centre-back. Hopefully, there's some French ones interested. By the way, I do still have Hesse and uh, that Polish chap. They can't. They weren't sold in the summer. They, hopefully, they've still got some value. The reason I talk about the transfer window, by the way, is that is next episode. Now, in terms of fitness, I'm looking here. I'm not happy. Uh, Kurzawa is struggling. We don't have another left-back. Uh, we did have someone that could play left-back, but... Three months. Uh, and yeah, at the back, Debussy also struggling a little bit. We could play Gulgan, but I've not played him at all this year, so that would potentially be a risk. Let's take a risk. We need players fit, so why not? Uh, further forward, we're actually going to take out Musa Sissoko and play Hatem Ben Arfa. Uh, Niang is going to come out on this left-hand side, and we're going to play Martial up top through the middle. Just fancy a little bit of a change today, folks. Enjoy this. And I'm not done there. Stambouli's coming out, and Villa's going back to where he goes, and uh, Rabiot's going to come in as the roaming playmaker with Matuidi to his left-hand side. As I say, uh, Ismat Medin at the back with Dimeo, and uh, everything else is relatively the same. Loris in goal, etc., etc. Okay, then. Can we, after last episode's dramatic end with a card-throwing incident, uh, can we beat the 4-4-2 of Bordeaux? I certainly hope so. Because if we can't, that would be mighty upsetting. Fitness, though, is a slight concern. But we're just going to have to, you know, walk on through a storm, etc. Okay, first chance of the game. Ben Arthur puts a ball in. Out to well, it's a, it's a penalty kick. 12 minutes gone, and uh, there's been a foul by Bordeaux. I'm not sure who will step up. I think it'd be Martial, and he's, he's gone for the ball. Uh, I do believe this is Martial. Number nine, stepping up for Paris San germain I ruined that up. That could have been. Oh, it's Ben Arthur. Well, that's maybe a mug, and he scored. So what number is Martial? 10. Why is that Ben Arthur number nine? Have I, have I picked that? Is that me? 
Martial's 12, obviously. I mean, there's the penalty. Sorry, what a shambles. But yeah, thank you. I, I mentioned last episode, if you're in doing if you're doing the homegrown challenge, send me some pictures on Twitter, at Dr. Benji, etc, etc. And uh, yeah, lots of you did. Lots of you are doing a homegrown challenge. A lot of you seem to be doing it in Spain with uh, with Real Madrid, which is interesting. So when they see another sort of Galactico-esque team, uh, making them all Spanish is probably quite a good challenge. So uh, yeah, if you are doing it and getting involved, let me know as they hit the white beam. Okay, so 1-0 here. Half an hour gone. Yeah, good. Well done, everybody. Well, Martial's through. The ball over the top. Oh, Martial with a great finish. The ball from De Meo at the back is absolutely sensational. It's a loose ball from Bordeaux. We pounce upon it and take a look at this. The through ball there is absolutely marvellous. You might say that was a bit of a hit and hope. I say perfection as the, uh, the left-footed shot into the far corner makes it 2-0. And even now, it looks done. Might even be time to start thinking about the word of the day. Le clignotant find out later to find out what that is uh, as it's headed clear by us sorry i should really be focusing but don't come forward with it they've not had too much of the play so far they yet to have a shot on target so i imagine their first shot will be a goal because that's just what happens isn't it as uh, truly on this right side shot on target see that see that there that's a goal first shot on target goal we've had six shots on target you might be thinking why have it's got six goals great question so the ball's played in uh doesn't i will say that goalkeeper doesn't look very i mean the, the reaction time there from the keeper Bloody hell, doesn't look like Hugo Lloris. Never seen Hugo Lloris in trousers. I mean, I'm sure he does wear trousers. I just mean on a, on a football pitch. But now I, I cast my mind back. I still don't think I've seen him in trousers. Even a suit jacket and trousers. I've never seen him in trousers. I mean, I don't title the episodes in this series, just parts. But today's episode would have been called Hugo's Trousers. Okay, half time has been and gone. Uh, really, it was just it was just a case of carry on doing the same thing. We are three points clear of Monaco. It's Ben Arthur, but they're wicked for it. I will tell you what, the delivery there from Ben Arthur is absolutely delicious. Uh, and Sweeney couldn't miss from there. Great ball in. I mean, this is worth seeing in three dimensions, folks, because this is marvellous. You can see here Ben Arthur, deep position, very, very deep, but it's high, it's curling, it's swinging, and uh, Sweeney heads into the far corner. 3 1 now. And it, it feels like quite quickly after half time, but things are looking good. Now, Kurzweil, as we know, is struggling. And with the Champions League game to come, and believe me, the league table in that is frighteningly close. If we move forward, Rabio, maybe put Envia there. Niang could come slightly further back. Ben Arthur. And then, I don't, I don't know, just uh, maybe on gender to come in for the right. And then we just, then we just all of a sudden we're playing that. If you didn't watch the Salford story, that won't mean a great deal. But watch this and learn. In fact, let's let's pick the bet. Let's pick the actual one. A little bit concerned. Actually, no, you know what? We'll take the Yang off. There we go. More natural out there now. Okay, so it's a three. We're, we're three one up. So it's unlikely that we can throw this away. But because I want to save Kurzweil, this is his fault really. Peter Arden Wingy. They've they've had a shot on goal. Was that Peter Arden Wingy? Surprised he's at the right ground. He's got a you know he's got a history of driving to the wrong one. Bordeaux keeping the ball. I, I've seen this sort of highlight before, and I know there's no goal. See, I, I could sense that there. Right, well, here we are. Our formation is in full effect. Uh, Rabio and Villa. Ben Arthur into Rabio again. He's playing slightly behind the strikers, but he's involved in everything, it seems, right now. And our, our three at the back formation is working wonders. Ben Arthur into Rabio into Matuidi. He's got two options ahead of him now. On gender, plays it into Rabio, who shots on, uh, sh who's shot on goal, is saved by Carrasco in the Bordeaux goal. Time ticking down. If we can get out of here playing the 3-4-1-2 formation, then I've mm, done well. A bear back. Bear back. I think that's how you'd say it. I'm not entirely sure. I, don't, I, I could be saying it. Apologies if I am saying it wrong. Uh, he, he turns into a bit of a bit of a smash hit in, in Football Manager this year, so uh, maybe we'll use him more in the in the coming seasons as on gender. He's on it. You know, he's scored a lot of goals this year, as we sort of touched on before. It's Ben Arthur, Inter Rabio, Inter Martial, and that, my friends, is four, and that is game over. Very well done by us all there. Well done. I mean, I'll, I'll do a little clap. Well done. Martial, one touch with his right foot, slams it home with his right foot into the corner, and uh, this has been a very convincing 4-1 win. It keeps us three points clear at the top of the table, and it, it puts us in some good form as we progress further uh, in the Champions League. Hopefully, stay tuned. I've been teasing the uh, the Champions League game like no tomorrow. It better live up to expectation. Peter Odenwingy's just scored. The the real Peter Odenwingy. Let's face it, that no one's impersonating him. It was chipped over, and then it was kind of. I, I don't want to say this is cheap. Oh, it's a slide tackle by us. He's finished it off. It's 4-2. I mean, game over though, mate. So too late. Should have done that earlier. Should have put us under pressure. But no, you've saved it till now when the pressure's off. Pathetic. Cowardly. Okay, there we are then. 4-2. Uh, it's the same as 2-0 in many ways. And I would have taken that. So 4-2. On to the next one. Oh, the, I can feel the pressure. It's coming down on me. Oh, God. Unless it is God, which is unlikely. 
You can see here, and I'm very proud of it, 16 matches in a row without losing. We really are Paris Saint-Germain, aren't we? <laughs> but all French, homegrown. And I've actually been getting a few questions, and I'll, I'll clarify this now. A lot, lots of people are asking, oh, certain players are, uh, are, are sort of changing nationality. What happens if they change nationality? I'm going by what it says in the nationality column, um, which you may now result in, well, you may notice that a player has changed nationality in my team. Uh, where is he here? Hadira, who was down as French, is now saying, Senegalese. So, despite buying him for four million, he now has to leave. That's the rules I'm playing by. And as you can see, we've got quite a lot of other players that do not belong here. Hashtag Frexit. Okay, welcome back. You may not even know we're gone, but we are back now. Uh, it is the Champions League game against FC Porto. And what we'll, we'll run into the team first and then paint out the scenario. It's tight. Uh, Loris in goal. Debushi is Matt Mirin. Uh, Di Maio Kazawa on the left hand side. Matuidi plays just behind uh, Rabio and Sissoko. Ben Arthur on the right. Dimitri Pai does come back in on that left side. And Anthony Martial up top through the middle. So let's take a look at the group, shall we? So if you look here, you can see that Besiktas on six points, FC Porto on seven points, uh, Dynamo Kiev also on seven points, and us, uh, Paris Saint-Germain on seven points. It's a big game. If we win, we go uh, we go through. If we draw, I think we also go through. Um, but to top the group is what we need because the next tie would be very difficult. Porto, though, as we kind of imagine, are the second toughest team, in my opinion, in the group. So we, we need a win. It's a big game. Nervous. Okay, team talks when... I mean, I didn't show you them. They were indifferent. That was just... Yeah. There was no magic involved. Uh, Casillas in goal for Porto. Interesting that he's there, isn't it? It still seems... He always, he's going to forever, to me, feel like a Real Madrid player. Um, as Porto do come forward. And they're doing so with a little bit of... A little bit of purpose. Abubakar, Barami... Now losing's not good. Oh god. Oh god, that's not good at all. Now if we if we lose, there's a, there's a good chance we're going to the Europa League. I know as as it stands it looks bad, but obviously one of uh, Besiktas or Dynamo Kiev are going to probably lose. So as things stand, yes, of course we are going to nothingness. We're going we're going out of Europe, but you know, there's still time. Tell you what, it's a warm day on the on the south coast today. I mean, I don't live on the south coast, but I, it, I bet it's warm. It's warm here. Okay, first real chance for us, and it's cut out straight away by Bruno's Indy Martins, I think it is. And, oh, I'll tell you what, we've done, we've done well, though. We're a very energetic side. It's Sissoko plays it over to Martial, who's in space, and finds the bottom corner, beats Ike Casillas, and that changes the complexion of everything. The, the points there suggest that the games are all still drawn. We've put it back to 1-1. One, one. Uh, Sissoko plays the ball over towards Martial, whose first touch, I should say, is absolutely sublime, and the finish ain't too bad either. 1-1, one, one, back in the game away from home it's tough Porto working again Ruben Neves on the ball a player that probably actually if I, if I wasn't doing a sort of an all French challenge the kind of player I would probably go for is a Bubica shoots straight at Loris and we clear it 18 minutes gone nervy it's a long throw in so Soko heads out Maxi on it though and puts the ball in a Bubica close-ish range Loris beaten now this is interesting because I think as things stand Kiev and Porto will go through. We will go into the Europa League as kind of predicted. That's not what we want, though. Abubakar heads down. I mean, to say that's fortunate is... Oh, oh. oh, highlight after the goal. Hold on. I think this episode might be slightly longer than previous episodes. Enjoy. Enjoy the length. That's what he said as Abubakar goes through. Um, Abubakar, it's not good. We're, we look nervy. Out to Barami on that side. Abubakar back in. I mean, bleep this, Ben, but beep! 3-1 down after 20 minutes. It's not what I wanted. Abubakar plays it over to Barami, who, if this is a shot, is going to irritate me. He literally crosses it back. Filth. Kuzua, ball in. Oh, dear. They're, they're coming forward again. Leon, who I think is their left back. Well, he can't get past Abushi. Can anyone? Yes. We've seen it this season before. Barami into Bubakar. Could this be four? Bloody hell. We're going counter-attack him. This whole we're away from home, but we're going to attack thing. Not worked. I realise that unless we, and at this point, unless we get a point, we uh, create save from Luis, we won't be progressing in the Champions League. Which, in my opinion, would be a disaster. The board, the board will not like it. This might end up being a series where we go around different clubs if it doesn't go so well. It's not going to go so well. But look, we'll cross that inevitable bridge when we come to it. As it's half time, 3 1 to Porto. I'm gonna. There's gonna have to be a change. Okay. Now, what would I? What would Ben do? What would Formation Man do? He'd bring on Gender on for a start. He'd get rid of Rabio, and he'd go to up top. That's what he'd do. He'd go. Look, be confident, Ben, in what in your abilities. And I'm, I'm sat here thinking, yeah, you know what, you're right. He wants to be a Trek with Easter. Who am I to argue? Okay. In fact, let's put these two in behind as shadow strikers. Ooh, that's threatening. Okay. Let's just. Formation Man. Do we need a Formation Man t-shirt? It's getting to the point where I think 
We could we could maybe we can maybe make one because I think it, it could apply to all sorts of things, mainly football based. But formation man, I'll think of a design. Let me know in the comment section. Would you get a Formation Man t-shirt? Similar to all the other t-shirts I've ever produced, price-wise, you know, 10, 11 quid. Just, if you, I mean, I'll think about it. Formation Man. Duh, 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 duh. I mean, you couldn't put that bit on the t-shirt, or could you? Okay, so well and good we're joking about, you know, brand management, but uh, we're, we're getting shit on here. 20 minutes to go, and we're all at sea. We'll try and, I mean, control the game. What am I thinking? We've got to attack. Enough of this fluid bollocks. We've got to go for this. Push higher up. Higher tempo. More closing down. More direct passing. Go for this. There's no time left. Maxi, free kick. I mean, this could be over within a, within a moment if we don't get this back instantly. Uh, not good so far. They're coming forward again. Another goal. We'll probably see it for them. But Kuzwa puts his foot in. I mean, it was worth resting him last game, wasn't it? Uh, on gender, ball forward. Martial, he's on to it. Anthony Martial. Dimitri Pai, corner ball. We need a goal, and we need it right now. Headed clear, and the race is on. Bruno Zindamati has, has never run so fast in his entire life, but he's done it here today against me. Oh, no. Abubakar is Matt. I mean, we could be out. We, I mean, not only could we be out of the Champions League, we could be in the bloody Europa League, which I think is arguably worse. I mean, that's just why they come forward again. I mean, it's becoming inevitable, isn't it? Uh, why they come forward again. Let's just see how... The other two, these other two teams are getting on. It's Kiev versus Besiktas. Oh, it was literally at the top of the screen, Ben. What are you playing at? Embakani's got two for Kiev. Embakani, former Norwich, of course. Seems weird. And there we are then. Porto three, Paris Saint Germain one. The Europa. That's gone well. Did I tell them I was pleased with the performance? I think for doing that. So there we are then. Out of the Champions League, into the Europa League. Let's see how the board feel about that. Uh, ah, I'll just read this out loud, I guess. The informed French side fell miserably below expectations as they failed to qualify for the gr uh, from Group E, containing the likes of Besiktas, Dano Kiev, finishing third with seven points. It sounds worse when you read it out loud. I mean, I feel like we should just have a quick check of the boardroom. Competition performance. Uh, the minimum expectation is that the team reached the quarter-final of the Champions League. The board are disappointed that the team has only managed to reach the group stage of the Champions, uh, of the Champions Cup. In League One, though, they're delighted. The minimum expectation is that you win League One. Not only that, but I forgot the word of the day. Well, let's bring it to the end. Uh, thon is the, is the word for today. Thon. You might have thon, maybe with a salad. Uh, thon is tuna fish. Well, see you next time. In all seriousness, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And we love with care from me, Dr. Benji. Until next time, au revoir. I've got this nailed, I'll tell you.